So what does the term self-made man mean? Today I'm going to be talking to Kevin Wheeler and we're going to discuss what self-made men do and how they tend to implode if they don't manage certain aspects of their life and their career and their person. You see it all the time. Self-made men that have everything and they walk out the door and as they're going out the door, they're burning it all to the ground. It is a phenomenon that we see all the time over and over in very successful men. Why does that happen? How do you stop that from happening to you? How can you help somebody if you see it's happening to them? We're going to talk to Kevin Wheeler and he's going to talk to us about how men can keep from imploding. It may be one of the most important interviews you'll ever hear. For those of you that are on your way to success, don't ignore this. For those of you that are already successful, it's a must. And I can see it pulling on you already. So be sure to check it out. We're going to start right now. Tell us a little bit about your background. How did you get to where you were counseling people? I'm not supposed to be here. If it had been my design, I wouldn't have found my way here. I'm a, I was a serial entrepreneur, ended up getting into corporate because I wanted to really understand how to structure and run a business. So I came from serial entrepreneurship, corporate infrastructure in restaurant and hospitality. And then I found my way to a large group awareness training that literally changed everything for me. I was evaluating the direction of my life. I was working for a business consulting firm on 9-11. And the day the towers fell, I had just graduated this program. And I felt on 9-11, it wasn't just a day to go figure out more business. And so I went down to this nonprofit and the guy that was there running it, I walked back in there and he said, what do you want? And I said, honestly, I want your job. <laughs> and he said, well, it's not available yet. But I said, that's fine. I'm willing to be your successor. And really just he groomed me, molded me. And I spent, I've done 12 years of over like 15,000 hours of large group facilitation in an emotional awareness kind of boot camp. And my specialty was going into your past and to, tr to try to understand how your childhood and uh, the defining moments of our lives shape our future and shape us as men to where later in life we want to burn down all the great things we built because we don't know how to handle who we are and our emotional selves, if so to speak. Let's talk about how events in our childhood do affect us. I hear that I don't really get my arms around it. You know, I think, ah, that's for wimps. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell me about some case studies or something or how oh. we can trace it back and what it, how well, it, let's just I don't know how to ask the question. You know what I'm saying? Let's just understand how the brain works, right? And that's where it really began. And I started this journey for myself, I don't know, about 10, 11 years ago, because I wanted to understand what it took to have fundamental change. Not white knuckle change like a dry drunk, but I'm talking about true sobriety with no need for that and no demons that are chasing you. And what I want to do is figure out what is it about the human brain? So the brain has, and Daniel Siegel in his book, Mindsight, outlines this really well. He is one of the world's leading authorities. He is an MD. He is a physician who is a psychiatrist. He's one of the leading authorities on brain science and neuro interpersonal biology. It's how we interact with people. So let's go over the brain real quick. We have left brain and right brain. We know about that, right? Left brain is our reason, intellect, rational thinking, all that. It's a lot of that systemic thinking. Our right brain is our emotional brain. Now, our emotional brain is not supposed to be used by boys when we're young because that makes us wimps, wusses, right? So we never really understood the right brain. And then we have our upstairs brain and our downstairs brain. Downstairs brain being the limbic system, fight, flight, or freeze, which we know well. Upstairs being the irrational, emotional, 
thinking man, the late man. So if we don't understand our brain, we're only using part of it. Your subconscious, you know about that one, right? It drives you in ways that it thinks benefits you. Your subconscious will do nothing it believes is not in your best interest. Now, your subconscious is a tape recorder. It is recording events that say that stove is hot, don't touch it. So you don't even have to think consciously about it you're at. If a tiger is chasing you, you don't stop and go, maybe I should think about what species. You take off running at least faster than the person next to you, right? This isn't <laughs> rocket science, but that same program is around fear or beliefs. And when it gets set, it gets set until it's updated. Now, when we're young, we are a complete lizard brain. We are a limbic system until we're about seven. So anything that happens to you as a kid until seven actually happens to your subconscious. It's written in your program and you don't have permission to update it unless you're talking to your subconscious and it understands that. So your subconscious is out to protect you. It also, get this, it processes at 40,000 bits a minute. Your conscious mind, thinking mind, processes at 40 bits a minute. I really hope you are engaging with Kevin Wheeler in this conversation. And especially if you're a super successful guy, I hope you're hanging in there and listen to the rest of this conversation. But before you do, please hit the like button, hit the share button, and subscribe. Okay. I don't want to waste any more time because this is a really important topic. Let's get back over to Kevin Wheeler and why men implode. Your subconscious is a thousand times faster. That's how it protects you. That's why you have great reflexes, everything else. So now if you were taught at a very young age that you're a piece of crap because over and over and over, that's what you've been told. You've been put on, you've been put down. The whole world is dumped on you until age seven, that now lives in your body. And what do you believe? You believe that you deserve to be dumped on. Now, all your life, you have affirmations, all this stuff, but you know that internal fight we have between this thing that we want to be, but this thing that we feel we are, you know what that's like? That's the program. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, here's the worst part about the burn it down thing, because we men have that. We are emotional creatures, yet our entire life, nobody taught us how to deal with it. So all that stuff on the right side, the right brain, nobody told us how to process that emotion. And it's not rational. Your right brain communicates, your subconscious communicates to you through feelings in your body and images in your mind. It doesn't understand talking. And so when it, you have these feelings like that gut knot in your stomach when you have a bad day, your gut's trying to tell you there's a problem. But what do we do as men? Shove it down, have another beer, go out and chase a girl, whatever it is to try to feel better instead of feel what we're feeling. Now, when we get older and we don't feel good about ourselves, we made a bad decision or two, we just aren't very happy, we don't feel like it's worth much, guess what we do? We burn it down. Why? Because we don't feel like it's of much value anyway, or we self-sabotage. How many guys you know self-sabotage later in life? Now it's time for me to offer you a free copy of a recorded Q&A call that we did a while back. It's about an hour and a half long. What is the Q&A call? Well, it's a call that I have every Tuesday at seven o'clock Central Standard Time. And people call in from all over the nation to discuss their problems, their fears, their obstacles, whatever the issues are, and to share a victory now and then. So I've recorded this call so that you could feel the flow of it, you could see the value in it, and you could certainly start to see yourself being on that call. All you have to do is go to 1000houses.com forward slash free dash stuff, scroll up and down the homepage there where I'm giving away all kinds of free stuff and click on the link that reads recorded Q&A call. It'll be digitally downloaded to you in a split second and you'll be able to listen to that call and judge for yourself. You're almost crazy if you don't get on that call. Check it out.